Okay, chapter two, overview of, of my work and personal background and education. So here is um, some of the, of the image that I'm, I put in my uh, portfolio. And uh, almost all of the work that you see here, and uh, should I say, well, yes, almost every image you see is uh, 3D based. Uh, even those images that looks really, really like drawings, and they are intended to look like uh, they are they are they are key shot and uh, the brush sculpts and uh, post processing in uh, in Photoshop. This one too <clears throat> is a, a 3D render that I've post processed. Mm. All of many all, all of those images contain some some 3D at some point, and. Um, so to, to go very quickly through the why, why, why am I using 3D to make things that doesn't look 3D at all? Uh, well, to be very honest, this is because I'm incapable to do those things otherwise. Uh, I decided to, to come back to, to art very late in my life, when I was uh, 37. I'm, I'm almost 40 today. and. Um, it was uh, something I, I really needed to do at that moment. Uh, like I, I think all of you guys, I, I was um, <coughs> um, drawing all the time when, when I, I were uh, a kid. But I saw at some point, um, uh, other things to, to cover in my life. And uh, I've been a professional musician for, for decades. I was uh, making a living out of, uh, of music. Uh, I was a percussionist and a drum player. And uh, after which, I, for, for personal reason, I, I had to change because it, it was kind of a, of a difficult uh, way of life, especially to, to have a family. And um, for uh, almost five to seven years, I've been um, uh, computer engineer. I, I was uh, writing softwares uh, mainly for, for for web agency. I've always been kind of a computer nerd, and uh, when I I wanted to move from music to do something else in my life, I, I found that uh, writing uh, uh, softwares was something really enjoyable. That was in some way very creative. It's really a creativity link to, to the beauty of uh, algorithmic and, uh, and ideas. And I really love that. But um, at some point, I, I just realized it, it wasn't satisfying enough. It wasn't close enough to, to the, the creativity I, I, I was used to when I, I was playing music. And, uh, and doing art as a living has been my, my dream my entire life. And uh, I guess when I was a musician, I was satisfied enough with all the, the other thing around. So <clears throat> it wasn't that much of a, of a problem, but uh, I knew at some point it was it was very really something I couldn't subtract to. I really had to make that. And uh, so I decided to, to, to uh, make my own education to, to become a, a professional artist. And at that moment, <clears throat> my, my work was very, very, very inappropriate for that core. I mean, I didn't uh, draw. I haven't. I, I haven't took a pencil since I was basically 19. So I, I was completely incapable of drawing anything. Of a, it was like <clears throat> an impossible goal, and uh, everybody around me thought I was like in, a, in in the wrong path. That was something impossible because you know the. This, this, uh, this job is so hard, there is so many people out there. So <clears throat> I decided to commit to it anyway. And uh, I applied a very pragmatic way of thinking in my education to achieve that. So I tried to really grasp what was the bare minimum level that was uh, acceptable to, uh, to be a professional artist and to to whatever the tools, whatever the choices uh, target that level. 
and uh, I've been working uh, with uh, mostly Gnomon workshop and digital tutors uh, subscriptions for for 15 months um, to try to acquire uh, basic knowledge about uh, about light, about composition, about what was making an, Im an image working. Because I knew that if I decided at that moment to just commit to raw drawing and painting skills, uh, I was trying not to be a fool and to be honest with myself. And I knew there were absolutely no way for me to make it as a professional artist by, by just uh, committing to drawing and painting because um, it was too far from me, too far too far behind me and there are so many absolute virtuos absolute uh, guys super skilled in drawing and painting i couldn't whatever the the hours i put uh, compete with them in the amount of time that i had before me because i had a precise amount of time and i knew uh, i couldn't fail uh, i have people counting on me and that wasn't an option to fail so I decided to go for what I was good at, uh, and it is uh, computer things. As a as a software as a software geek, I was kind in my in my world with uh, computer thing, with filters, with uh, with programming, with uh, you know algorithmic, with learning new tools. So I commit to it. I learn 3D. Uh, I try to learn about a lot a lot about uh, color theory really understand how the physics of a, of a light uh, was working, how it was interacting with materials, with surfaces, uh, uh, and also commit a lot of time in understanding composition. So, so I, I feel I'm just starting to scratch the, the top of the, of the iceberg, and uh, there is so much to learn about composition. And I really feel this is what makes or not an image work, whatever the the degree of painting skills and drawing skills you put in there. Uh, if the composition don't work, uh, the image uh, in, in, in for me, my image can't, can't work. Um, after those 15 months, uh, I knew my skills wasn't uh, up to the, to the expected level. So, uh, I try to find something to do in that industry that would allow me to keep um, a foot in the industry, uh, be connected to it, but um, still allow me to, to make a living out of it and uh, let me a bit of time to continue uh, my, uh, my learning process. So uh, I became a comic book colorist. Uh, I found uh, jobs in here and, and it works uh, quite well for for two years, uh, for um, 18 months. I've been doing comic book coloring, mostly with uh, with the French uh, uh, publishers. And um, during that time, I, I try to commit to to uh, to continue my my learning process and uh, indeed. I still had to study drawing, painting, anatomy, but that wasn't my my very main uh, concern. I tried to put um, my ability to create illustration first, and uh, this was mainly a matter of understanding, again, I, I repeat, uh, composition and lighting. Um, at some point, I just, I just understood it wasn't possible for me to to continue like that because the amount of uh, of skills that I, that I have to continue to acquire to become a professional artist uh, this time wasn't wasn't really possible to to put in with the, with my comic book coloring work so i managed to gather some some money to to live without uh, without the need of having a, another job for 6 months and during the six months, I, I committed basically all the time that was possible to put in. And, uh, and uh, it was around uh, 2,000 hours. That was uh, a lot of time, but uh, it really paid off because uh, after, uh, after studying for, for that time, I, uh, I think I, I was 
as that bare minimum level that I wanted to have to to be a professional artist. And um, six months after, I found a job. I became an art director for for the Titan Grace uh, Will Wheaton TV show. Um, I worked for XCTG. Uh, I've been published uh, thanks to 3D Total in my first uh, my first magazine, and later on, I've been uh, published in uh, Imagine FX. So um, I made I made it. I I attained my goals. Uh, now I know that I really have to improve my fundamental skills, which are drawing and painting, because uh, I know these these uh, skills can really help me to become faster, to, to, to make a bend between my ideas and the realization faster. But at the moment, I figure out a, a process that allow me to, to create images that I can make a living of. And uh, I know that now I can take the time whenever I have it to work on my, on my other fundamentals. Um, the point of all that is to say that Technique and and art are indeed related, but it's not in that an obvious way that you you want to think. I I, I know in the on the internet a lot of people are saying that you have to know how to draw, you have to know how to paint, and it, indeed this is true. But if you feel that your painting and and raw drawing skills aren't up to the ta- to the task of of a uh, of your expectation uh, are run up to your expectation. Well, you you have other uh, tools at your disposal that you can you can uh, use at your advantage to to, to create your uh, your own images and uh, unleash your creativity. And uh, the point of telling you all that is to insist on the fact that at some point it was really by accepting who I was by accept, accepting my limitations uh, that I really find the, the strength to, to use my, my current skills to, to go through my goals. And uh, I think this is, this is quite important. You know, we, we are all different and uh, we are not genetically programmed to draw. We are not genetically pro- programmed to do things a certain way. And, uh, each and every people on, on this planet can do can do things its own, their own very way. Uh, so that's it. I hope uh, I hope in this tutorial I can I can show you that um, there is different way to, to do things and uh, you can you can achieve uh, whatever whatever look you want uh, uh, by designing it and not especially by by being bound to to do it with a certain technique because. Technique is nothing more than a, than a tool, and uh, a tool with no mean has absolutely no purpose. So, this is this is usually how I work. I I do an image, I do two images, and after the third, I I'm start to notice that uh, there is something wrong with my skill set. Uh, there is something that I really have to to work on. And uh, usually, this is those times that I choose to to take uh, to take a week also to work on the specific skills. Uh, it can be anatomy, it can be perspective, uh, you know, it, it can be color theory. But uh, usually, I, I'm not working on a, on a skill in in um, until I, I really feel I really know that I I, I need it. And uh, this is kind of a pragmatic way of thinking, but uh, it worked for me because this is this is why I'm. It may no, not work for you. Maybe you are already already a, a way better uh, penciler and a painter that I am. In that case, you may find your own way of doing things. So thank you for listening to mylife.com. and now let's go through the making of this image.